Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it's official, and Microsoft has confirmed that the next version of Windows 11, version 25H2, is going to be rolling out later this year as this year's annual feature update. And already, as I have been talking about on the channel, Microsoft is testing 25H2 in the dev channel already with the bold 26,200. Currently on 24H2, we're 26,100. Now this confirmation is all according to this tech community blog post by Microsoft, which I'll leave linked in the description if you'd like some more information. And Microsoft has mentioned from the post that 25H2 will share the same platform release and servicing stack as version 24H2. So basically what this means at the end of the day is that when you initiate the update from version 24H2 to version 25H2, it will only take as long as a normal cumulative update. So it won't need to reinstall any system files and will be a lot quicker, as an example, from upgrading from 23H2 to 24H2 because with 24H2, basically a whole new OS was installed. It was an operating system swap and that was from 23 to 24 h2 and it's going to be different with 25 h2 and it will only take just a few minutes to download and install and obviously you would restart your device to complete the update and you would have then the feature update when it rolls out later this year and this is what we call an enablement package because it only services specific files that need updating and according to Microsoft, sharing the same platform release means that it can service both version 24H2 and version 25H2 with the same security updates as well as deliver features to both. And Microsoft has also mentioned that features designated for version 25H2 will be disabled on version 24H2, but I think it's likely that we will start seeing a couple of new features from 25H2 um, rolling out to 24H2 as well just like we get with 24H2 and 23H2 currently, the same is happening. And if we have a look at this quick graphic from the announcement, yeah, you can see 24H2, new code flags are changed from disabled to enabled. That's the enablement package. Device is restarted. New features are enabled. Build version number is updated. And then you'll be updated to Windows 11 25H2. And if you just head to... Winver, as you may well know, when 25H2 rolls out, obviously version 24H2 will change to 25H2 and the OS build will change from 26,100 like it is currently to 26,200 as mentioned. That's already been tested in the dev channel as I've mentioned previously on the channel. And I'll leave a playlist for 25H2 that I have created with a couple of videos already. I'll leave it linked in the end screen if you'd like to play catch up and get some more information because I have been talking about this over the last couple of months. And as always with the case of new Windows version releases, this will update the support clock back to 36 months. So if we just head down to this section, yeah, we can see that for Enterprise and Education, 36 months from release date, that's the new life cycle, and Pro and Home Editions will get 24 months from release date um, once that update has been applied. And as I've mentioned previously, 25H2 is likely to start rolling out in September or October. We received 24H2 on the 1st of October last year, so I think there's a good chance late September or early October for 25H2. Check the playlist out for more info. And it's going to be an interesting one to watch because 24H2, in my opinion, isn't 100% yet. It's still got a couple of issues. There are still safeguard holds that Microsoft is applying on certain systems. So if they're going to kind of build 25H2 on top of 24H2, that's going to be a very interesting one to watch. So hopefully by the time 25H2 rolls out, Microsoft would have ironed out all the kind of bugs and issues with 24H2. So it's official. According to Microsoft, 25H2 is rolling out later this year. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.